Hello everyone, my name is Joel and welcome to a quick Blender tutorial. I just thought I'd quickly teach how to animate a character just because someone I know seemed to be having trouble with it and I thought I would link to them to this as soon as I uploaded it. So, here we have a um, completed character with uh, with a full on um, character rake here, as you can see. And he's in pose mode, so we'll just put him into reset. So, uh, let me think, how do I do this? Reset. Nope. Uh, pose. Clear. No. No. Hmm. Oh, yes. Clear pose transformations. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I needed to. <laughs> okay, so we just go into this page here uh, by pressing Control left twice. So that's Control right, right. Control left, Control left. Should have explained that. So, what we're going to do is, first off, in this little screen here, it looks a little bit overwhelming, but we'll get into it. Uh, well, first off, you'll see here, uh, Dope Sheet, change that to Action Editor. This will allow us to actually choose animations. Then you press plus, uh, and then you name the animation. So we'll just say, uh, I don't know, do a jig. Why not? Uh, and you won't usually see uh, any poses, but if you have anything, just put your mouse over this and then press A, then press delete to clear all animations. Then you start from scratch. Uh, so, we've got 60 frames here. Um, usually it starts with more, but I would suggest you change end to 60 frames. And then uh, make sure you have the animation at 1. Though it really depends where you want to start animating at. We'll start at 1. Uh, we will ha make sure to have uh, this little record button turned on, just because it will record our our uh, keyframes. So, next we're going to just rotate the arms down, do 70 degrees, why not? Um, I'll just remove this because we don't need it. Um, Alright, hold on, does it record it? Okay, so you can see this little yellow icon here, it means that it recorded that keyframe. So if we go to 60, oh, well, actually no, hold on. We'll just select all of the, um, all the bones now, press Control c and then we'll go to the very last frame, which is 60, and press Control v That copies that same frame, so everything's now the same. So let's just, for example, do this, 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 and this. So this is at 30 frames, this is at 0 frames, this is at 60 frames. So now we go and play that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Um, I appear to not have done this properly. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Um, it's because I simply forgot to select all the bones here and then paste them here as well. Yeah, that's a problem. So uh, we can see now that all of the bones, all these are individual bones here. And we've got every single one here and you can just go to the top to select them all. So they've all got the same amount of bones recorded on each keyframe. So, at 30... Hmm, let's just record a very simple walk cycle. I'm terrible at wall cycles, it's worth knowing, so... Uh, forgive me there. We'll just do this on, say, 45. And put that on 45 as well. And we will do the same thing, but in reverse. So we just do this, just so it's easy to remember. So 90 degrees. Ooh, that's a bit far, isn't it? 90 degrees. And we'll grab the forward fit. And do 90 degrees as well. Oop. There we go. Then we'll select the bones. Copy to the first one. Alright. So... Now we have a very, very simple walk animation, but we're working on it because it's still quite dreadful. Hold on, is that going backwards? Uh, I guess you can't really tell. It's not really meant to be anything spectacular. Okay, we'll just lift the the, uh, the legs by, I don't know, 20 degrees? No. 30 degrees. Oop. Okay, sure. We'll, we'll we'll do thirty degrees. Why not? Thirty degrees. Oh, oh, hold on. A little bit too far there. Um, 
Right, so we're going to have to delete all those frames there. So how you do that is just simply zoom in on this, right click on the top one, or you know, whatever keyframe you want to delete, and then you just press delete, and you press delete keyframe to confirm it. Alright, so that should look a little bit nicer. Very, very little. Um, okay, what we could do, just because uh, the bone's not actually selected, uh, it, rather connected to this piece, we could just bring it down. Um, do that. Though it will make it unsymmetrical, but screw it. Screw symmetry! Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Symmetries for sh for chumps. Hmm. Whatever. Sym symmetrical enough, I guess. There we go. All right, that looks pretty bad, actually. All right, let's just yeah, let's undo that. <laughs> Um, is that right? Something about that looks different than that one. Whatever, we're not going to look into the details too much. Um, Alright, so what we'll do next is we'll swing this particular arm forward by about, I don't know, 30 degrees? No, um, we'll do 40 degrees. Alright. And we'll bring this one back 40 degrees. And then we'll do the same thing over again. So let's just work out which way that would go. So that's going backwards. So we'll bring it forward now. 40 degrees. And then we'll copy that. Alright, and now we need to bring this one back. 40 degrees. Did I do 40 degrees or 30 degrees? I'm already forgetting. God damn it. Uh, whatever, it doesn't really matter too much. Alright. Yeah, it looks like I might have just chopped... You know, whatever, you know what, I don't, I don't really care. Whatever. I'm not doing my math properly, obviously, but it doesn't matter. Alright, we'll bring this over three degrees. Um, that way. Yeah, sure. And then we'll do it again, but bring it over that way for three degrees. Then copy that. Alright. So we're getting there, yeah? We're getting there. Uh, we are getting a bit clippage there, but I usually figure that out after we get the basic animation done. Now we may as well get the the head shifting a little bit as well. Um, because we'll do it a little... Oh, I forgot to actually do my calculations. Five degrees. And then we'll do the same here. Five degrees. Copy that. Paste. Alright. So there we go. Uh, and now we'll go to the old... And here's the animation I repaired, uh, prepared earlier. Um, I, I think I broke this model. Oh wait, no, no, no. No, no, hold on. No, I didn't break it. It was because it was meant to be equipping a weapon. Never mind. I was going to say that was going to be a bit weird. Um, now we'll look out. Uh, hold on. Let's actually go all the way back to get that. Uh, oh, we can't go back enough. Never mind. Um, right. So we'll just uh, relaunch that, and we got a little Dragon Ball Z in the background. Just ignore that bollocks. Um, now I will have to say that uh, getting stances like this is a bit tougher. But I've got um, an attack stand, uh, an attack animation that pull arm swing one, oh, two even, and then pull arm swing one. Um, now, attack animations are probably one of the harder parts of um, of animation, but uh, definitely easier than than doing the 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 um, the attack stance. So the um, the idle attack stance like this here. This was a uh, very hard to get the legging right, and even still, it looks a bit awkward. Um, now the strafing was by far the hardest part to get right because there's a lot of logistics to get it to actually look 
like he's moving left or right. That was annoying. Uh, and we're not doing that today. Uh, I, I was just going to explain the very basic animation and that I've done. Uh, as for actually creating a skeleton, um, I'll probably look into doing that as well. But if not, there's plenty of videos out there. Um, so, you know, explore out there. Either or. Thank you very much for watching. Um, subscribe if you like this. Uh, and watch for more. And stay tuned for stuff from uh, Zero Drive, my project. Um, otherwise, we're done for the day. And uh, hopefully you learned a thing or two. So, cheer up.